TechType.com presents... Welcome to part two of Tech Tight's top 10 creepiest game moments. Remember the ground rules. First, only one moment per each game series. Second, keep in mind this is a list of good games, or more specifically, the games that made creepy moments not only cool, though actually pretty fun as well. I'm Steve for Tech Tight's top 10 creepiest game moments, part two. Number five. If any game made it hard to choose only one game from one game series, it is Silent Hill. Though consider this list among the fans of the original Silent Hill. So allow me to salute the definitive moment in Silent Hill 1 that made it incredibly creepy. The worse school. Here's what I'm talking about. Imagine you're searching through a small town looking for your daughter. You come across this totally awful school, filled with creeps at every turn. There are annoying little Oompa Loompa brats with knives who seemingly attack your junk at every opportunity. There are the black ghosts who seemingly whimper in sadness as you pass them by in the hall. And oh yes, all the appointment books are written in blood. Of course. Then you solve the clock tower puzzle in the middle of the school and cross over to the other side. And you learn that, oh no, this is actually the regular school. This is the worst school. The floors are all metal grates. The creepy painting on the other school is now an actual place. And oh goody, the Oompa Loompa brats are here too. Great. Silent Hill is a thriller game classic for many reasons, though to me, the worst school is among the best of them. Number four. In all of game history, few games have ever been as underappreciated as System Shock 2. Yet the creepiest moment of the game is hard to choose. One moment you're being attacked by a meat puppet controlled by Shodan, who pleads for you to run before they kill you. Another moment you find out that all the monstrous children of Shodan have turned the ship into one big organic pile of goo, and you are, literally, in the belly of the ship. It's enough to make me want to simply name Shodan herself as the fourth creepiest game moment ever. Though there is one Shodan trick that takes the cake. Here you are throughout half of the game, searching endlessly for your newfound friend, who's been helping you throughout the game. So there you are working like heck to save this girl when you enter her room and find out, surprise, she's been dead before this game even started. And all this time you've actually been talking to Shodan. Man, when that flat screen TV pops in from out of nowhere with Shodan's creepy face on it, well, you can't help yourself when wanting to kick some serious Shodan butt one more time. Yet the creepier part of this story is how System Shock 2 was meant to be the middle of a trilogy. Yet regardless of many rumors, no confirmation of System Shock 3 has ever been given. True, there has been a spiritual successor to System Shock, though we'll talk about that one later. Number 3 There's no denying that the Fear game series has wanted to scare us from the very beginning. So, how'd it do? Well, let's summarize the first game's story. Throughout the game, you've seen many hallucinations of a little girl who is somehow responsible for all the mayhem happening around you. You would think by the end of the game, you would see a little girl in a little dress with a lot of evil powers. Well, not exactly. You enter a chamber, Alma breaks free, and you learn four important things. Alma is now 16, half dead, buck naked, and pissed. Nothing is quite as creepy as a freaky as all heck, buck naked jailbait chick. In fact, this is perhaps the most solid entry on this list of creepy game moments. Ask yourself, didn't Alma look just like a little girl just minutes ago? Ew. Don't even get me started with the plot twist at the end of Fear 2. No, seriously, don't go there. Let's move on. Number two. 
If any game was going to earn the top two spot on this list, it would have to be Bioshock. The atmosphere of this game was excellent. One minute you're in a plane crash, swimming for your life. Another moment you're introduced to an underwater city known as Rapture. Yet what was the definitive creepy moment in Bioshock? No, it wasn't harvesting the Little Sisters. That choice was up to the gamer, and frankly, the game was more fun and a bigger challenge if you let them all live. I've seen some terrible things. No, the enjoyably creepy plot twist of this game is revealed in three simple words. Would you kindly? Sure, this is a spoiler, though it's a spoiler you might have to know in time for Bioshock 2. So let's just say it. Your character is a slave puppet. From causing the plane crash to killing the leader of Rapture in cold blood, all of it was under the command of a mob boss who's been pulling your puppet strings every step of the way. True, you get to break the puppet strings and defeat this jerk. Though come on, you're not about to argue with me putting Bioshock on this list. Would, would you, you kindly? Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly? Okay, let's have a quick rundown before we get to number one. Number ten, the first creepy game. Number nine, creepiest spider ever. Number eight, closet zombie. Number seven, Lovecraft. Number six, sanity meter. Number five, the worst school. Number four, tricked by Shodan. Number three, freaky naked jailbait chick. And number two, would you kindly? And the number one creepiest moment is... <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding. However, I am not joking when it comes to how totally cool Thief the Dark Project was. Made by the same company behind System Shock 2, Thief the Dark Project has the most overlooked creepy moment in game history. Imagine you're a thief who's just been promised a big heist, the final score. You meet a strange man named Constantine, who tells you in a totally cool cinematic how he needs the best thief to steal the rarest artifact. Yes. You see, Victoria and I are... Old associates. Yes. You are being tested, do you understand? And I must say, you more than live up to your reputation. You are quite an extraordinary thief. Testing me? What is it you want from me, Constantine? What Constantine wants is a stone artifact known only as the Eye. Here's the catch. The Eye was abandoned in a cursed part of the city that has been barricaded from the rest of the city for centuries. So off Garrett goes fighting hordes of evil wizards, crazy cultists, zombies, and ghosts with the coolest creepy voices ever. So, Garrett returns the eye to Constantine, who has two things to tell Garrett. First, the eye requires a human eye to operate. Second, you're the only human in the room. To the woodsy lord, and offer up your flesh eyes so that his eye of stone may see, man fool. While a lot of fanboys of this or that thriller game might hate me for putting this game at number one, let me explain this scene's creepiness in five simple words. That bitch stole your eye. Your character just lost his freaking eye. So here you are, with no weapons, four hit points, and one eye, in an underground dungeon filled with the creepiest monsters imaginable. True, by the next game, Garrett had this cool robot eye. Yet the truth is, most creepy game moments are either easy to live through or an automatic game over. Thief gave the gamer no choice but to see the creepiest moment ever. There are no multiple endings to this one. Your character lost his eye, man. Ouch.